right, we're here with Napoleon and Tabitha. So tell me about the process with any number that you do. Do you kind of already have a story in your head and match it to music, or does the music come? How does it, how does it kind of fall into place? Music always precedes anything. Okay. We, we, uh, we get a song that we like or a song that has certain character to it, and then we build the story upon it. Yeah. We build the story with that, and then we also build the story to cater, hopefully, to the dancers as well. I was going to say, once you get to know the dancers, do you kind of have to do tweaking to match their personality, basically? Absolutely. We don't know who we have until the very night before we start rehearsal with them. So sometimes, and many a times, we have the song, we're inspired, we figure out the story, and then when we find out who we have, it sort of molds the story in a different direction, sometimes yeah. just because of their personality. But I think in every, in every instance where we're, we mold it to them, because really, in essence, choreography is not about what I do or what she does great, it's about what they can look great doing. So, in essence, you do mold it to them. Okay, and you know, choreographers are always kind of in the background, but with this show, we've really gotten to know you guys. Yeah. Do you get recognized all the time, like, by fans? Since, since we've been a part of this show, yes, it's, cha it's changed quite a bit from behind the scenes to a little bit in front of the scenes, which is quite nice because now my mom and dad know and understand what I do for a living. <laughs> I think it's really cool when we're, when we're in places like flying through, like, Kentucky, Houston, or Kentucky, and, and there's a guy with a 10 gallon hat. It's really a kind of a cool feeling, and of course the guys always blame it on their wife. My wife watches you, <laughs> and the wife's always behind them, going, "Who are they again?" <laughs> oh my God, that's great! And now with this with this top twenty that we have right now, you know, how is it how is it working with each of them? Because yeah, as we know, like they all come from different backgrounds, different styles. You know, I guess how do you deal with that when you have dancers that maybe haven't done what you're doing? Because you have to spend a lot of time teaching them in a way. You do have to, and you're you're under the gun. We have four hours to teach them these routines that they perform, and so really the competition becomes about how quickly they can adapt to the environment and how well they can start pairing up and working as a team because if they can't get on the same page no matter how good one person is it, it, it's an uneven it's an uneven playing right. field there so you could take two people in their same genre two amazing professional dancers in the very season put them together if they can't have chemistry together yeah. it won't matter yeah. so yeah. not only do they have to have the chemistry together they have to learn a whole new style and it's a really difficult thing wow well great work tonight we'll see Thank you again you. soon thanks